Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save and load game properties to a file using the Blender game engine. So first off I'm going to show you a little bit of an example of what we're going to have when we're finished here. So whenever we play the game we have a cube in the center and we can see in the top left the cube has a property named prop applied to it and that is equal to zero. Now we can hit the spacebar to add one to that property we can hit the S key to save that property to a file. And we can add a few more. And whenever we hit L for load, we see the property snaps back to where we saved it, which is 4. If we leave the game and go to our file system, here we can see in our folder that we have our blend file in, there is also a cube.txt file. If we go in there, we can see the number that we saved. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing we need to do is start a new Blender file. Go up to the top center, switch it from Blender Render to Blender Game, bring up the bottom, switch that to a Logic Editor. We're then going to add a game property to the cube. I'm actually assuming you guys already have a game that you want to save game properties from, so you probably already have all this stuff set up. We are then going to split the 3D view, switch the new window to a text editor, and we are going to open the text block. So you're going to open the script, which is available in the description down below. We're then going to go down to text and make internal. That way any changes we make to the script are from within Blender and aren't actually changing the script file itself. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add three keyboard sensors to our cube. The first one is going to be the S key. And we're going to turn on tap mode. The second one is going to be the L key. We're going to turn on tap mode. And the third one is going to be the space bar. We don't have to turn on tap mode for that one. We're then going to add two Python controllers and an AND controller. We're going to wire the sensor straight across to the controllers. And on the two Python controllers, we need to switch from script mode to module mode. Then in each of these, the first one, we're going to type in save load capital S capital L dot save for the first one because that's the one we have tied to our S key and in our second one we're going to do save load dot load again capital S capital load in save load but the second one the dot that is not capitalized so next we're going to add a property actuator and we're going to wire our AND controller to this. And this is going to be add mode. We're going to add to the property prop a value of 1. We're then going to turn on debug properties. Go to game, show debug properties. And if we hit play, we can see in the top left our cube has a property named prop, which is equal to 0. We hit the space bar, we can add to it. And unfortunately, this is not working yet. That's because we need to save our Blender file because the script is telling us to save the file right next to the blend, wherever the blend file is. So I'm going to go to Blender, or File, Save As, and I'm going to save it over my old file. So then if we hit Play, we can hit Spacebar a few times, hit S to save, hit Spacebar a few more times, and load, and it will load the property. Okay, so that's good, but let's say we want to save more properties, more than just one property. We can do that by adding another game property to our object. This one will be a float. Uh, let's set that to like 12. And then over here in the script, on line 11, we can just add this little bit of code. So we're going to do plus, quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, plus. And that is essentially adding a plus to the end of whatever number we're saving there. We're then going to do str. This is exactly like the first part here, so we can actually just copy and paste that if you want. We're going to do str own, open bracket, apostrophe. Uh, this time it's named prop0, so we're going to do prop0, apostrophe, close bracket, and then close parentheses to close out the str function. So then down in the load section, we also need to add another line of code down here and we can just copy this line the last line of code which is just loading the property so now we see its own prop we want to change that to prop 0 because that's the name of the property we're loading 
and instead of line 0, we want to set it to line 1, because that's the second item that we've put on there. And we can do this as many times as we want. So if we want to add a third string, we can actually just copy that whole thing, the plus and everything, paste it to the end of that, and add another property in there. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to work with two. I'm going to turn on debug mode for that property as well. And let's add another property actuator over here to add to the property zero. Let's do 1.2. So now if we hit play, we can see we have two properties there. We hit the space bar, we can add it. If we hit S, it'll save. Hit space bar a few more times, hit load. And it loads the first property, but not the second one. That is actually because right here on the line where we're loading the second one, we're telling it to convert whatever this is to an integer. Uh, we don't want an integer. We want a float. So we're going to replace int with float there. So now we hit play, hit spacebar a few times. We can hit S, hit spacebar a few more times, and hit load. And it loads both properties. And you can do that with any type of property you want. You can also do that with a string. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.